Hey everyone, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know that I not only go out and fly camera drones, you know, like DJI, Autel, Parrot, Unique, those type of drones. I also am into the RC hobbies of RC cars, RC boats, RC planes, FPV drones. And if you're into those hobbies, well, you have to have a little bit of knowledge about the RC hobbies. See, this is the difference. If you're into only DJI, Autel, Hobson, and those camera drones, everything comes in a box and you really have no knowledge about the RC world, very little at all. But if you're into the other hobbies, you really start to learn about the RC hobbies an awful lot. And the first thing you learn is you better know how to charge LiPo batteries or every other type of battery on the planet. So you need a battery charger. A few episodes ago, I did a review of a really cool battery charger and all the people into all those other hobbies said, Steve, do more reviews on battery chargers. So today I have a really cool review on a very portable, very awesome smart battery charger that is one of a kind. Check this out. This little guy is designed to fit in your pocket or go in your bag when you go to the field and it can charge two batteries at once while you're out in the field. It's a smart charger with an IPS display. It's pretty sweet. It has all the functions of the bigger battery chargers in this tiny little kit and it costs around 50 or $60 US, that's all. So uh, check out this review. This is the M6D dual smart charger. Let's open the box and check out what's inside. Inside the box we have the smart charger. Taking the charger out of the box, what's in the bottom? Let's see what we have. In the bottom of the box, you have an instruction manual and a USB cable. You're going to use the USB cable if you ever have to do a firmware upgrade on the charger. And to do a firmware upgrade, it's as simple as connecting that cable to the charger and the other end into your PC, downloading a file and just sticking the file on the charger. That easy. Let's take a quick look at the features of the charger. Here we have a 2.4 inch IPS display and two buttons on the front. I'll explain those in a second. Here we have the front of the charger where you're going to find your inputs. So you have an XT60, XT60, balance port, balance port, and this is actually an external temperature sensor, not included, but you can attach one. And on the rear of the charger is another XT60 input, and this is what you're gonna to use to power up the charger or some external power source. And over here, you actually have a USB port that you can use to charge up items that take USB, like your phone, your GoPro, whatever. As well, you can also use this as a firmware update port. On one side of the charger, you have the fan that will only come on when the charger gets hot, when you're doing a discharge. And on the other side of the charger, you have some really cool venting ports. And now a super quick example of what you're gonna use this for. So for me, I was out flying my little FPV quad here, race quad, and I use this battery and this battery, and they are both pretty much, well, they're not dead, but pretty close to being dead. This battery over here is fully charged. So I'm gonna use this battery to charge these two batteries. First thing, plug this battery in to power up the unit. Next, I'll plug these two batteries into the front portion. So here we have the input battery, the almost dead battery, and the other almost dead battery plugged into the front with the voltage, voltage, balance, balance. And we're ready to go. Before we begin, let me explain the display. So up here, 25.11, that is the voltage of this big battery that's coming into this here unit. Next on the left-hand side of the screen, 14.94 volts is the voltage of the battery plugged in here. And 15.41 or 42, it keeps changing, is the voltage of the battery plugged in here. And if we look down lower, down here, you can see this is a four cell battery because only one, two, three, four are lit up and that's the voltage of each cell. Same as on this side, one, two, three, four, and that's the voltage of each cell. Now, since we have two batteries attached, what I'm gonna do is show you how to actually charge both batteries at the same time from this battery back here. So this is one of the great benefits of this tiny little pocket charger, watch this. All right, here we go, charging up two batteries at once. Press this scroll wheel, clicks down, there we go. We get a display that says new, new, new. Let's press the first one, new. First thing we do is we say, yes, we wanna charge up LiPo batteries. How many cells are in the batteries? I don't know, leave it on auto. Next, we wanna charge, yes we do, because that's what we wanna do. What's the end voltage? Well, it tells me 4.2, and yes, that is the correct voltage, just accept that. Current charge, two amps. Two amps works out great because these are 1300 milliamp batteries, so you can have it at 1.3, up to two amps or even higher because these are really good batteries. Leave it at that. Then we go down to charge. You see it's on channel one, CH1. Press the button, you have a choice. You can change it to channel two. So this is channel one on this side, channel two on this side. But I wanna do both at the same time, so I'm gonna turn it again until it goes to dual. Enter, go over to start, start, yes. 
Do you want to charge both of them? Yes, I do. Hit OK. And there we go. We're charging two batteries at once. And you have a little progress line here, and you have one over here. And when the line gets to the end, they are fully charged. So you have ways to go on this one, a little bit less time to go on this one. And now that they're both charging, you can switch between the channels as you wish by using this button up here. That's your channel. So when it turns blue, blue is this channel. And when it turns red, red is that channel. You see this line in the middle is changing color, blue, and then red. So I'll leave it on the red one. Now I'll turn the scroll wheel and watch what happens to the information. All of a sudden, I get the voltage per cell as it's going, and next I get the resistance. The resistance in ohms is really good to look at, and it's good to see numbers like 10, 11, they're close together. You never want to see numbers far, far apart. Let's check this side and see if it's just as good. So I'm going to hit the channel button, go over to that side, scroll wheel, we have the voltage and the ohms, and you see this one's good too. See. 10, 8, that's not too bad. 10, 9 is really good. So these will work themselves out as they balance. If there's a lot of resistance, you have a bad battery. Now during the charge, if for any reason you wanted to change the amount of amps, you just press this scroll wheel. I have it on the right hand side. Current amps is 2. I could change it to something else like 1.5 right there. There we go. Now it's at 1.5, vice 2, and the same if I want to change the other channel, you could do the same thing. It's at 2, but I'm just going to leave it. If you want to stop both of these, just press this button, press stop, and it stops one channel. You must then go to the other channel and stop that one too. So now they're both stopped. Now, if you're wondering what type of batteries this charger can handle, here they are right here. You can see them. And if you look at that last one, UAV battery, let's press that. Go down to drone model and click that. And there we go. You pick the type of battery for the drone you have. If you have a camera drone, you can charge up the batteries if you have the correct cable. All right, so now I've made a quick change. I still have the same battery powering the system, but down here I've changed these two batteries. These two batteries are fully charged. And now I realize I'm not going to go out and fly and I want to store these batteries and put them in storage mode. So I'm going to store them both at the same time. I'll show you how. Here we go. On our screen, let's go to new. You can either modify this one from charge to storage, but I'll just go to new, press enter. Lipo batteries, yes. How many cells? Auto, yes. Charge, we want to go to discharge. No, we want to go to storage charge, sorry, because I want to store them. So storage charge, discharge mode, internal. Internal means that basically it's going to take the power off the batteries, put it inside, produce heat. The fan's going to come on and blow the heat out. And voltage is correct, 3.85. This is a smart charger, so it figures it out. Current, 2 amps, yes. Discharge current, yes. That's all good. Now I have to tell it to do both channels at once. So channel 2, dual, yes. Start, and that's okay. And here we go. They're discharging at the exact same time. So they should be finished approximately the same time since they were at approximately the same voltage. And you hear the fan has come on because we're up to 47 degrees Celsius. And you can see the fans moving over there. As it gets up to 50 degrees Celsius, it's going to go out in full power. Right now, that's only half power. And when the process is complete, these two batteries will be safe to put away and store for a long period of time and be very good the next time I take them out and charge them up. So those two options are pretty much what you're going to use this here unit for. Now, if you only plug in one battery, just use your little channel item here to select which channel you want to work on, channel 1 or channel 2. It's that easy. So I've shown you charge and storage. Now there is another option you can do which is discharge. Discharge will take the voltage of the battery even lower. Normally you're going to discharge a battery if you want to bring the voltage really low and then charge it back up. And what that does a lot of times is it corrects problems or errors in the battery. So I'll show you that right now. So once again push this in and let's go to a new one here. LiPo battery, cells, auto, bow, charge. No, so we already did storage and we already did charge. So we're going to do discharge, middle one. Press that. And what do we want to do? Discharge mode. Yes, we want internal. So that's the heat again. And it just brings it down to 3.5 volts, which is much lower. It's that simple. Go to your little channel thingy over here. I'm going to press that. And we want to do both at the same time. Dual and start. And there we go. And now again, we're discharging these batteries down to a lower level than storage level. So after we discharge them, it's very wise then to charge them back up. And now I'm going to show you a few features that I think are really good options and things that are pretty cool with this charger. So here we go. First thing is I have two batteries plugged in right here and I don't want to charge them or do anything to them. I just want to check the resistance of each of the cells because I want to see if these batteries are good. So to find out if these are good batteries, all I do is pick a channel. So right now, let's see. 
blue is this side, orange is this side. So I'll pick this side first. Hold this button down. It's going to check the resistance. Here we go. And it should be checking it in a second. There we go. So there's my resistance between all six cells. This is a six cell battery. And if I want to do it on the right battery, same thing, hold that down. And it should change, come on. Here we go, starts up a little bit and there's my resistance. This charger also has the ability to take the power from these two batteries and send it all the way up and charge this battery if you wish. This charger also has synchronous mode, something I have never used. I don't think I have a need for it, but what that is, is you can take both of these ports right here and you can put them in synchronous mode. In other words, they're gonna be in parallel. So both of them are shooting out power into, let's say one battery. So I'd have one battery and I'd run one wire to XT60 here and another XT60 here into the one battery. And you could charge this up really quick because in synchronous mode, you can shoot out 25 amps at 500 watts. I guess I should show you where synchronous mode is just in case. So it's in the settings. So you hold this button down, go into settings, Right here, synchronous mode, it's off or on. So you just turn it on or off. So I'll show you the next one, continuous mode. Continuous work, it's off. What continuous work is, if I turn it on, it means I'm gonna put a battery in or two batteries. I charge them up. When they're finished, I just plug in two more batteries and it will charge the next two. I don't have to go through all the settings again. While we're in this screen, let me show you input settings. So right now I have mine set to battery because I'm powering this unit with a battery. If you're gonna change the battery to, let's say an adapter, you have something coming out of the wall, you're gonna plug in, so you change it to adapter. And also in the battery type, if you go down to here, you also have power press that, you can use this as a power source to power some other devices you may have. You just have to set the output voltage and the maximum current and you're all set. All right, now let's take a look at this here charger, the dimensions and the weight. The size of the unit is four inches across and under three inches in width. The weight of the unit is 225 grams. All right, so now you have a lot more knowledge about what this little baby can do. So this comes in black or white. Of course, I have the black version right here. And it's not very expensive. It's, I think it's 50 or $60, you know, probably closer to $60. So that's not a lot to pay for something this powerful and this advanced in this year and day and age. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the links below to where you can check it out. I think it's on the Banggood website. I could be wrong. Check out the links. It's gonna take you right to it. Maybe there's some other sites. I'll put those below if there's other sites as well. Check it out and uh, see if it is for you. I think it's pretty good, but then again, I'm into every RC hobby, so I need this. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in a future video. Take care.